Disclaimer, I, John of John Productions, am not a professional certified diver or free diver, nor am I legally qualified to give advice on the matter being. So please take any and all advice slash action presented on this channel or in this video in which done by me personally with a grain of salt. Do not attempt to recreate any action in the showcase material in which may result in harm at home. Make sure to seek professional help when personally going out to engage in similar activities presented in the following. All the advice is given from personal experience or from what I have observed, yet this is not qualify me enough to properly give advice on the matter being enjoy the video and stay safe fellas all right welcome back to the channel guys uh thank you guys for showing so much love in my last video in this video it's gonna be kind of like a different style um last was kind of like a dive this one is gonna be a catch and cook on a table boss as it's called here in the islands of hawaii but it's kind of known in the mainland or like the western term is the hawaiian hogfish if you want to look that up I'll bring some like fun facts in throughout the video, but nonetheless, this recipe is pretty simple. I'm gonna be walking you guys through it the whole entire way, showing you how to prep, how I cleaned it, prep the fish, took off the scales, and then uh, like, like pretty much battered it for the fish. Or I really recommend you guys trying this out. If you try this out, tag me in like one of my socials. I'll for sure react, and hopefully it looks better than mine. And that's not saying much if it doesn't, or if it does. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and that's pretty much it. Get my story straight My friends are in the bathroom Getting higher than the Empire State My lover, she is waiting for me Just across the bar My seat's been taken by some sunglasses Asking about a scar And I know I gave it to you months ago I know you're trying to forget But between the drinks and subtle things The holes in my apologies, you know I'm trying hard to take it back Closes and you feel like falling down. I'll carry you home. Alright, what up guys? So pretty much this is how I clean my fish. I prefer using a fillet knife, but all that was my dive knife, so you gotta make do with what you got, you know what I'm saying? So I start with piercing the anal cavity and splitting the belly all the way up to the gills. Just a little caution to the wind, depending on the fish species that you're cleaning, such as like Nanui and Kala that are very poop heavy. Especially if you got a dad that likes to hate on you whenever you're cleaning fish inside the house. Like, moi, myself. I highly, highly recommend cleaning your fish on spot after your dive just so you can get like all the nasty poo poo outside of the house, the smell, and you can also give the nutrients back into the land just so nothing goes into waste, you know? It's kind of like a perfect cycle where you receive from the land and you also give back to the land and it's a win-win no matter what. So just to backtrack a little bit, as you just seen, I pretty much split open the body into two equal parts, which allows more accessibility when cleaning the fish and pulling out the guts. That being it's easier. And as you're seeing in this clip right here, I just reminded myself I was supposed to cut off the head. And I thought it was pretty funny, so just enjoy my masterpiece. So as you see in this clip, this is the reason I mainly clean outside when it comes to scaling. Scales end up everywhere whenever you're doing this. And if you're using your dive knife, I recommend using the broad side that's not sharp. Back to how I said scales can end up everywhere. There's been multiple occasions where after cleaning a fish, I'll take a shower and realize I have scales in my hair. 
Alright, so pretty much a brief description according to the official DNLR website. If you don't know, that's the Department of Natural Land and Resources. Pretty much the game wardens in Hawaii. According to the website, uh, Bodanius Bolotnotinus, or a Hawaiian hogfish, also commonly referred to by its Hawaiian name, Aava. Other common names include Black Spot Rice, Crescent Banded Hogfish, Saddleback Hogfish, Table Boss, and my personal favorite, just because it sounds pretty cool, a Tuxedo Hogfish. Like, come on now. You gotta admit, that's pretty sick. A member of the Rice family, which in fact makes up the largest family of fishes in Hawaii. Nearly 50 species are known to exist here, but only a few are relatively popular among fishermen alike. Males and females of the same species frequently have different colorizations and wrasse are known to undergo sex conversions from male to female, similar to that of parrotfish. Colorization can vary as the fish gets older. Fun fact, juveniles in which are classified by being under 4 inches typically have a whitish with, with red, brown, horizontal lines and a large back spot between the soft dorsal and anal fins. As the fish grows older, this spot slowly starts to disappear and a black saddle starts to form at the rear of the dorsal fin. Females have a white with brown horizontal lines in the front with a progressive shading to yellow towards the tail. Males are typically wine colored or purplish brown and the black saddle is faint or absent. Alright, as you've seen in the last clip, this table boss has really, really white meat and it just looked pretty good for like beer batter and that's where I got the idea from. And so pretty much on a fillet, I try to start from the head and go all the way down to the tail and the first slice is just to break through the skin. And I try to really use the spine or like the pectoral fin line as like a guideline when I'm like going from head to tail trying to get this initial cut in. And when I'm filleting the fish, I just glide the knife through the tip of the knife from where the meat meets the bones. And it's pretty much all I do back and forth. After removing all the pin bones, I just decided to dry the fish before I dipped it in beer batter. So I'm not sure if you guys seen the ingredient list, but what you need is bisquick, your seasonings of choice is what I went with, some black pepper, paprika, and danos, and instead of beer since we don't drink, I found this truly in the back of the fridge. the type of consistency you want right here it's pretty much just pancake batter so table bosses have the potential to grow up to two feet and weigh up to four pounds generally this is a non-regulated species meaning that they don't have a legal size limit but this doesn't mean you should necessarily take any table boss you come across no matter the size that being as spiros spear fishermen slash women our job is to oversee the land and not to over harvest if that makes sense that's generally like my rule of thumb when it comes to like harvesting fish or whatnot from the land and according to hawaii fishing news now the state record table boss comes in at a whopping six pounds and four ounces off the coast of Puna, Big Island, Hawaii, by a Spiro whom goes by the name of Kip Hartworth. He has even stated on a personal account when I asked him for permission and consent to talk about this, he has even stated that he speared table bosses bigger. He just never got them like officially checked in. And then the reason why this fish he got checked out was because it was a recommendation through a friend. So I thought that was something that was pretty cool. Their habitats may include yet are not limited towards any given reef structure from shallow waters to insane depths of 100 foot and beyond. So as your oil's heating up, you may wonder like if you don't have a thermometer, like how is my, I don't know when my oil's ready. And this is how you pretty much just get your whisk, dip it in the oil from a safe distance, and if you see bubbles forming as if it was frying, that's how you know it's time. <laughs>
So some like facts about me, I used to work at Taco Bell like in high school for a little bit. And so this is pretty much how you can wrap it. This is just a simple wrap, you're just gonna eat it on the go. And this one just prevents it from stuff falling off the bottom. You just fold one side over and you like fold the ins and outs and you roll it up and there you go. Let us know what you think. Right now, what? Can I get on the Nope. Right here, mid, mid, mid change. Just take a bite. Alright. This is a table boss. What are you thinking? What's on your mind? Sheesh! <laughs> Alright, what would you rate it out of 10? Like the fish taste and then like the overall Maybe dish. Fish. Maybe uh. What would you, how would you like prepare something like that, you know? I like, obviously it won't be as good, but you know, like. If I prepare this shit, it'd be busting, busting, baby. <laughs> Alright, guys, how's it going? So, pretty much as you seen in the video, I did like an introduction for this fish. Uh, right now it's in a burrito, as you just see me like wrap it up and stuff. But yeah, nonetheless, it's pretty much just like my taste test, and I'll let you guys know. I'll be honest, like, if it was gross, I'll probably like. I'll, you, can, you can tell by my face. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of, um, you remember McDonald's used to have like those wraps? I had like, it was like country chicken or whatever. It's pretty much tastes exactly like that. Um, the table boss really is like, it's not really too fishy. Um, it, it kind of tastes just like, as like, uh, like I'll, show, I'll grab another piece. So the beer batter is pretty much cooked golden. Looks a little bit like dino nuggets. But yeah, this is pretty fire. Uh, honestly, Table Boss, like, I've always seen them around, but I've never really taken too many shots on them. This isn't the first time I'm ever actually trying a Table Boss. Cause usually like when I shoot fish, like, like, I don't ever try to get too much, but when I end up like do getting like a little bit of catch, I always like end up like barbecuing or something with like my friends and then we just cook it up like either at the beach or in someone's like house. So, like whenever I get like fish, I, I don't really get to try it because I really just like, like say I'll get like a prized fish for me, like something that's more desirable. And for like the boys, I'll give them like the manini or something I shoot. Some of them actually like that, like the manini and like that nai nai. Some of them kind of like the, um, like the seaweedy taste, but personally, like I don't really like it. I like my fish tasting like, like nothing pretty much. So yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much that. And I'm about to finish this and some other things.